New at 10, local families planning celebrations at Excalibur Event Center say instead their money was stolen. And 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live at the Aurora Business, where Jacqueline, the owners aren't easy to find. No, in fact, part of the disappearing act you can see behind me, they've actually tried to peel off the phone number on the sign outside the building. We're being told by people that these owners, when they closed the business, actually walked away with money people paid for their special nights, and now some of those people are fighting back. I liked it. It was so colonial. When Stephanie Molina saw Excalibur Event Center, she thought she'd found the perfect place for the most memorable day of her life. Now she just wants to forget it. Planning a wedding is stressful enough already. Last summer, she put down $5,000 for her wedding in May, but three weeks ago, she got a phone call from Excalibur's manager. He really didn't give an explanation. He just said that the place was closed down and that he would need three weeks before he can give me my money back, you know. And I haven't heard from him since. She's not alone. Monica Mena had put down 2,500 bucks for her daughter's quinceanera in June and got the same phone call. Sad, mad, because this person don't answer the phone. We tried to contact Excalibur's owners. Their numbers all disconnected. No replies to emails or Facebook messages. These families are fighting back, going to small claims court and hoping others will join them. I still have some things to pay off for since this set me back and I don't know how I'm going to be coming up with the money for these things. And if other families want to come out and tell their stories because one person or two people aren't enough, we need all of them together so we can do something with this person. And I also talked to another bride who paid a $1,500 deposit, and she says she never got a phone call from Excalibur. She found out yesterday from her caterer that they had closed. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.